Hey guys, I know I haven't been uploading videos. I do have some stuff recorded from months ago that I still have to edit. I just get so lazy when it comes to editing, but I, I'm gonna try not to be lazy. I'm gonna try and record more, and I wanna actually do some regular vlogs a, a bit more often, so I'm gonna start doing that today. And first of all, I'm just gonna go fix myself a snack. I just got out of the shower, so I'm gonna get myself something to eat, and I'll get ready to go out, and I'll take you guys along with me. My first stop of the day is Bed Bath & Beyond because I have a 20% off coupon and I actually want to get a smart scale. I do have one in mind, uh, but basically I, I do want more things that will help me track my fitness. I just got the Apple Watch Series 2 last week and I'm loving it because I like being able to track, you know, all like how much I've walked and all that and it's, I just, I lost 20 pounds in the past few months and I want to keep that momentum going. I want to get a little more more fit, more toned, and I think these things will help me. So I do want a smart scale, preferably one that can also read the read my BMI and um, muscle mass. So hopefully they have the one I have in mind. Get control of your car horn, people. Sorry about that. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside and see if they have it. So they don't have it. They just have the Fitbit scales. Okay, well, I'm kind of disappointed by the fact that they only had Fitbit scales, um, I, which wouldn't be a problem because Fitbit does make good hardware, but they don't support Apple's health kit and they don't seem to be wanting to do that in the near future. And I know there are workarounds to get that information added to health kit, but I don't want to bother with that. So I'm going to go to another Bed Bath & Beyond because I, I have seen the Withings Body Scale on their website. So I'm just going to try one more. Is it Withings or Why Things or We Things? I don't know. Anyways, I'm hoping it is at that next Bed Bath & Beyond. Otherwise, I'm just going to give up and order it online. <laughs> Look what I found at the other Bed Bath & Beyond. The withings, why things, we things, with however you pronounce it, body scale. I can't wait to play with it. But I have a couple more stops before I get to set that up, so I'm gonna have you guys come with me. Hi, Truman. Hi, Truman. How are you? Hi, little guy. Hey, Truman. You excited for the walk? Oh, you are. Let's go for a walk. So my friend here is named Truman, and he is a dog that I'm currently sitting on a daily, well not sitting, I, I walk him on a daily basis with Rover.com which is kind of like a, kind of like Lyft but instead of driving people I walk their dogs and do dog sitting and so he's my friend that I get to see every day and it's a great way to make new dog friends and make a little bit of money. If you're interested in becoming a dog sitter, oh he's gonna shake, look at all that slobber. <laughs> um, if you're interested in becoming a dog sitter for Rover.com, I'll put a link in the description below. Also, if you're interested in finding a sitter on Rover, click that link because there is a discount um, for the for first time users. I am finally home and I can't wait to open this up. First, I need Roomba to shut up, Roomba! I'm just gonna do this on the floor since the scale probably has to be on an, a flat, even surface. <gasps> Okay, peel here. Ah, open this up. Ooh, it's so shiny. And then I'll get all these footprints and gross things on it. Ah, okay. I just installed the app, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my first weigh in on the scale. It looks like I gained a couple pounds, probably because I ate a couple burritos last week after the bars and clubs. So it shows my fat percentage, my water percentage. So my first impression of the scale is that it's actually pretty cool because I get to know not just how much I weigh, but my body fat percentage, my muscle mass. Um, it also tells you things like the weather forecast, which is kind of lame because in San Diego you have pretty much summer all year round and so I don't think the the rain forecast is that important to me plus I get that information on my phone and on my Apple watch so I'm gonna take that off of the settings because I don't need that reported to me but yeah I'm pretty happy I am excited that all this information is going to be synced with Apple's health kit and to my other um, fitness apps and so they'll be able to use that, that information and help me reach my fitness goals. Hey Roxy! 
You ready for a walk? How about you, Coco? Are you girls ready for a walk? Are you excited? Oh, look at that jump. <laughs> Are there spiders up there? Okay, how do I... Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. So I'm having Brandon go into the attic because it's time to put up Halloween decorations. Though we only have one Halloween decoration. It's this giant spider that we got from Costco last year. Um, we have to buy spider webs, so those are pretty cheap, right? Or I could do my own, but it kind of takes a lot of effort like to do like the hot glue gun. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> so creepy! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so scary. Oh my gosh, look at this. That is so creepy. I don't know if I've ever told you guys, but I'm terrified of spiders, so I don't know why I agreed to get this last year, but it turned out looking really cool. It has like light of eyes and stuff, so let me actually just set it up first. Okay, I'm trying to hold my camera and not drop the spider over into our downstairs neighbor's patio. <gasps> okay, I thought there was a real spider calling on my leg. Although there are real spider webs right here. That's so gross. Hang this over here, and that'll go right there. Ilsa is scared of the spider. She's keeping an eye on that thing. And I don't know if you can tell from here, but the eyes actually light up and it looks really cool and really creepy at night. Hey Briggs! Hi handsome boy! Okay, go ahead Ilse. Go play! <laughs> they play so well. They're gonna get married someday. They're like Simba and Nala. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go to Target now and get some spiderweb decorations to dress up the, the patio. Um, give me a thumbs up you guys if you like the whole like regular vlog thing because I kind of want to do it more But let me know if that's what you want to see uh, in the comments below Let me know what you're gonna be for Halloween. I have an idea of what I'm gonna be I usually plan out like six months ahead at least but I'm kind of behind this year But I do have some pieces for a really funny costume, but yeah So I'll talk to you guys later if you're not subscribed already hit that subscribe button and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!